Comrades, I congratulate you all on our successful mission. The rifle infiltration program has been a complete success. Agent Alisa Mikhailovna has integrated into a Japanese school and winning the hearts and minds of weebs worldwide, using the most successful tool, the prototype Sundare 1.0, the silver model. But in all seriousness, how did we even get here? To turn anything into an anime, it needs to be popular in its original form, you do know that. That means there was enough Japanese dudes who have a fin for Russian girls to give it a reason to exist. I guess we got what we asked for during the start of the special military operation, but in anime form. We got a Russian tsundere waifu. We finally got it, boys. Trump did not almost die for nothing. Let's go! But in all seriousness, an anime with a title, Alia sometimes has your feeling in Russian, will not give us everything we want from a Russian anime. But I feel like it's still going to be good. And why do I say something like that? Well, because the source material was popular in Japan, winning prizes and coming out number one in many events. It doesn't matter what you think! But it doesn't matter what the source material is! It matters what the anime is itself. And is it good? Is it bad? Uh, it's, it's okay, it's pretty decent. And that's saying a lot, because its competition decision includes Fairy Tale, Oshinoko, and the Deer anime. Not to mention, our girl Alisa has developed an army of simps, both in Japan and across the world, with a YouTube channel that gets far more views than mine. Get me those views, guys. Get me those views. And a Twitter page, sorry, X page, don't kill me, like, and don't kill me, have mercy. And might I remind you, it's a romantic comedy with some fan service, girls in stockings, and the usual panty shot here and there. You know, the usual stuff. But that raises an important question. Just why is this anime so popular? What is the secret sauce that makes it so popular right now? My dear friends, you may ponder that question, but I already know the answer. And the answer is quite simple. The answer is Alisa. That's it. You see, Alisa is a sundere, and a Russian one to boot. A rarity. Not to mention the fact that she is voiced by the goddess herself, Sumire Uesaka. A comrade in Japan who studied Russian, she loves Russia, and can speak Russian. It's a fun anime with many choices, like the main character's choice between helping his sister or a Russian girl. The hardest choices require the strongest will. Family or a wife? A Japanese girl or a Russian girl? Incest or interracial? I mean, uh, wait, what? Where were they going with this? For a romantic comedy set in school, it looks great. The animation is top notch, so I rate it highly. My final rating for the show is hype for the show and simp for Alisa. I like Alisa and her tsundere behavior, she can make Shogu and Gerasimus give us all that ammunition finally. So subscribe to my channel and wait for more friends from me. Goodbye and see you soon.